So my 1020 trays came in. Now, got to get some soil mixed up, soil blocks made, and get those pear seeds into them. All right. This year, I decided to use Promix BX as my base soil. Now this has most of everything that I'm going to need. I am going to be adding a few things to it, however. Some green sand, some bone meal, and as well, I have some compost. All right, so we have our mixing tub. Got trays, buckets, measuring implements. I have my recipe laid out for the first batch of soil blocks. I do need to make a sifter though. So let's get out to the shop. So I'm making a very simple uh, two by one foot uh, sifter here. So I'm gonna unroll this a little bit, place the frame for the sifter on top of it. You gotta be careful with this stuff, it will get you. All right, well I need to grab my staple gun do something about that. All right. That'll be okay for the moment. little janky? Absolutely. But will it sift? So the recipe we're going to be following is eight parts Promix BX, five parts compost, two parts extra perlite, and one part bone meal green sand mixture. All right, we're going to start out with the Promix. So that's eight parts. I'm going to be doing three quarts for a part. There we go. Now you know, I have this uh, bale inside of a trash bag. Capture any of the dropped soil. Hopefully uh, be able to recover it. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So that's our pro mix, our base soil. Break that up a little bit. So we're gonna be adding a few things to this. Roughly five parts compost. I am gonna be sifting this, so might not come out five parts exactly, but not trying to be a baker here. Actually looks like it's going to sift very well. There's one and two. Gonna pick out this big stuff here. So we can break those up. If it breaks up easily, not a problem. Three, four, add in five right now while we're at it. So far, this seems like a very good pre-made compost. A lot of times when you're sifting out, a lot less of it's actually making it into your mix, so this is pretty good stuff. That went pretty well. Of course, now after handling compost is whenever I'm gonna wanna wipe my eyes. Check that out. It's a Red Pig Garden Tools hoe. Completely hand forged, handmade. This is not sponsored. I just think it's really cool. It's what I'm gonna be using here. Next, two parts perlite. So as you can see, the Promix already has some perlite through some research. I discovered people using the Promix BX for their soil blocks. We're adding just a little bit more. I'm gonna be adding two parts. 
Next up, it's going to be our fertilizer mix. I would definitely advise wearing a mask. Sounds about right. Do a little bit of CrossFit. We're going to just take one three quart part. Alrighty. Now I'm incorporating this dry, because once you start adding water, it can change how well things blend with one another. Start adding water here in a moment. All right. there. Uh-oh. Well, uh, I'm disappointed that my soil blocker apparently already broke. Artemis, excuse me. It's my cat, Artemis. As you can see, the one on the end here isn't getting the little divot. It's when my soil blocker broke a little while ago. It went missing and I haven't seen it yet. Alrighty. Good job, team. So these are some heirloom pear seeds. They've been vernalizing quite a while now. This entire tray is dedicated to them. So I am only doing one seed per block. Oops. Any of these that do not germinate, I'll just be recycling the soil. I think I'm going to take these malformed guys, toss them back in. We are going to make another batch We will remove the malformed. See if we can't scoot these down. There you have it. My sloppy first soil blocks. So this I'm gonna leave the cat's normally not down here. I would advise if you have a cat in the area, this just looks like a nice big litter box to them. Cat's not normally in here. Not gonna be too worried about that. So there we have it. We got the pear seeds in. I have plenty more planting to do and a lot coming up. Those were just the first things I wanted to get in because they're gonna be in their soil for quite a lot longer than the other stuff. Ooh, say hi. So I'll see you next time, and I look forward to you following along as I make even more mistakes.